Welcome back, Floater Gang, to another episode. Today we'll be ranking Eastern Conference NBA logos from 1 to 10. Um, the Philadelphia 76ers are first. Deacon, what do you have them ranked as? Well, so this logo, I mean, it's got a good mix of modernism, you know, mm-hmm. with the ball, the circularity. Team, <laughs> teams do that now. Uh, and then also, you know, this, the the wording is it's real nice. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think it's fine. I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go 6 out of 10. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, I wish they would incorporate the bell. They kind of do in secondary logos, but with their main logo, I feel like that's a huge missed opportunity. I agree. Um, and there's nothing like special about it. So six out of 10, it's fine to me. But that's, that's my thoughts. That's fair. Lauren, what are your thoughts? Um, I, I think it's too bad. Good. I lived in Philly for like a year. So I definitely got to include like some, Philly culture. I do like, like, because it has, like, the Philly kind of, like, the old schoolers with the stars. And I think they have the right colors. And it starts around the ball and, like, on, over the 76 and make the kind of, like, the, the seven, like, a little bit of, like, a kind of like old school ribbon in the font of Philadelphia is kind of, like, declaration of independence mode. So I like that element. I definitely think they kind of include the city. But I'm definitely leaning towards a six or a seven. Uh, yeah, about I'm going gonna, gonna to start with <laughs> I'm gonna go with seven. I think I think it's all enough, but definitely a bell will be it will be a big plus. I agree, and even the snake that they have for one of their secondary yeah. two, I like that one a lot too. But their primary logo, I think, is seven is good too. Another mention I do want to make that I noticed on some of the research that I made is so you have the stars over the seven, and it's thirteen stars representing the thirteen colonies, uh, which I think is kind of a cool thing that they could have at least done. Um, but that was just a little thing too. But I think a seven, yeah. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not the flashiest logo out there. But it's definitely not like they need to immediately change or no, anything. But they, there's definitely improvements that can be made for sure. Um, yeah. but yeah, to your point, I, to your point, the reason I gotta go with seven two, even though I don't know if we're technically ranking secondary logos, the fact that they're smart enough to use the snake and the bell in the secondary logos is just like okay, I, I respect. It. Like they know what they're doing. Yeah, that's true. They know that they can be used and stuff too but i wish it was at least somewhat incorporated on the primary um but next logo we'll go to the chicago bulls um very plain but it is iconic especially because the bulls are kind of just uh associated with mj at this point so it's a very iconic logo interestingly enough too it's the only nba logo that has never been changed except for like a little bit of coloration but overall it really hasn't been changed but i mean it's it's not the flashiest logo either. It's iconic. I think a six probably is good for that one. Um, I really don't think it's anything special, especially compared to some of the other ones out there. So this might sound wild, but I think people agree with me. This is the greatest sports logo of all time, in my opinion. Oh, it it's guys. nostalgic. I think it's absolutely perfect. The colors are great. Um, you know, it's stood the test of time through generations and. Whenever you think of this logo, you think of well, Michael, either Michael, Michael Jordan or Scotty, maybe Scotty, Demar Derozan. I mean, I guess. I get it. depending on when you start. But it, it's associated with greatness. It's associated with one of the greatest dynasties ever. True. Um, and it's just like super cool looking, in my opinion. So this will be my only ten, probably. Wow. Probably. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's overrated, but that's fine. All right. It's You're also not like-, like a circle. And I mean, I have nothing wrong with circles, but okay. so many teams do circles. I think it's part of almost not necessarily like what they have to do, but it's, I mean, like you said, it just so makes many sense. have them. It makes sense. A lot of them have it just because, I mean, a basketball is round too, which is kind of a lame excuse, but like, I, I know what you're saying with that. I do appreciate that with their logo. Yeah, that's fact. That's fact. I appreciate that. And the nostalgia, like, okay, I get it, but like, I can't rank a logo of just pure nostalgia. Like, it's yeah. just not that good of a logo. It's definitely not a 10 logo. Like, yeah, it's Michael Jordan. And, like, from, like, if I would, like, from the league perspective, I get you can't change it right now. Or, like, completely just revamp a new logo just because of, like, the nostalgia. But, like, just for one, again, like, even, like, alternative logos, they don't even have any. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, the only thing they have. True. Chicago is what the second biggest city or third biggest city in the U.S. World renowned, and it says nothing about the city. Um, like like I don't know, no skyline or anything like that. Gigantic city. It's just like Michael Jordan made it famous, but the logo itself isn't all that good. It's decent though. You got an aggressive looking bowl. Mm-hmm. It's simplistic enough. You can put it on a hat, whatever, and that's also why it's gotten so popular. So I can respect that. 
And I guess I contradict myself a little bit. It does say a little about the history of the city and the cattle industry. Because they were like, that's, I respect that. I do think, like, if you can kind of represent some of the city is good, I definitely could do a lot more. I'm looking at a five or six, just because of the simplicity and aggressive looking bowl and the nostalgia. I'll go, I'll go with six. Definitely not a 10. This is not a perfect logo. Just yeah, because Michael agree. Jordan won six championships with this logo does not make this logo a great logo. Well, that's not the only reason. That's just it boosts it. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, that's why I, I mean, if I think if it wouldn't have all that, I mean, I don't think it'd be the same logo, but I would have probably ranked it even lower than six. So I do agree it, it does help boost it a little bit, but you can't you can only boost it so much for that. I have a proposition for you, though, too. So they can take that same logo instead of revamping, like just like slightly, like just add a few modern touches, maybe just to check out a Bulls font or something like that, or maybe as an alternate, add some alternative logos. They're just kind of flavored up and take that new step. There, it's been thirty years since Michael Jordan has won, since the Bulls have been good. So take a new level. I still keep. I'm not saying let it go. I don't think you should. I think it'd be a horrible mistake. But kind of move on a little bit I'm, I'm with you i wish like i mean especially with like the city uniforms mm -hmm. you have opportunities to like totally branch out from what you do and like try something new and i feel like not a lot of teams take that advantage i mean some teams do for sure but like you know the bulls they're like oh we're going to make our jerseys but black this year <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I, I i like i appreciate teams that try something new and especially with teams like the bulls or celtics where the logos are just like super nostalgic, old yeah. and nostalgic um, I mean, but yeah, I get your point. Yeah. Uh, speaking of changing colors and stuff and teams trying things with jerseys, the next team is the Milwaukee Bucks. We have seen them try some different-ish colors, or not as common colors, especially in their main logo, like blue and cream. Um, so that's the next uh, logo. Lauren, do you want to start with this one? Oh, boy. I love this one. Like, for one, it just looks good. Like, it just looks good. It has the buck. And I, well, I just love how old. All the elements work together and also represent the city. Like Milwaukee is like to me, like it's foresty. It's kind of like, well, it's Midwest. It is in the Midwest and it just kind of represents that. You have several, they have like one time I tuned on ESPN, they have like a wood chopping competition. It just like represents it as that deer. Mm -hmm. Like it's just as weird. The, even the font of the Milwaukee Bucks and it looks good. You have the circle, which Deacon hated on. I agree with Deacon, but they branched out with the huge antlers. Yeah, and it's true. something I just learned like this last week. Is it the little basketball in the inner circular yeah. part of the hand? Well, even the that outer part, one, I think, too. Yeah, I but yeah, it's it's definitely. I did not know that. And then you have the M is a chest. Like it has all the secretness mm -hmm. to it, while also having all the like the secret awesome elements and the overall awesome elements. Um, dude, it, I think it has to be a nine or ten for me, honestly. Like it's just a really, it's a well done logo. It's like. If I had to like say which is like my favorite logo of all, I wouldn't pick this one, but I just think it's well done, well representative, looks good, easy to use. I agree. Okay. I'm with you. I mean, I think the logo itself is really good. And like I said, like I, I don't love circles, but it they this it is work. an exception. I mean, <laughs> it, it really works. But I I just I don't like the colors. And I know it's like Milwaukee's colors. Uh like, you know, it's green. Yeah, Packers are green. But I just I don't love the color, so this holds me back from a ten. So I'm gonna say nine. Um, but okay. all in all, everything I you agree said. With that. And I think the big antlers are kind of supposed to represent, a, like a rim, maybe. maybe, maybe, or another ball. I don't know. Yeah, we'll say it does. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah, but I agree. I mean, I think the Bucks logo is a very thought out logo. Uh, like we said, there's a little ball element. You have the M on the chest. Uh, so very well thought out. I do think, I almost think the logo without the ring is even better just because, I mean, yeah. partially just that circle element, right? Um, but I, overall, I, I I really don't have that many complaints about the overall logo. And colors, I see what you're saying, but at this point, it's kind of just branded in. It looks good. Yeah. Uh, you're used to it that way. But I'm curious to what would what else would look good with that, especially in colors um could potentially be interesting to try out but i think yeah i, I agree eight or nine I mean, i'll just go nine all around i guess have y'all really seen video. have y'all seen their g league logo oh the first yeah that one's sick yeah it, it's kind of, i don't know it's almost too much though it, it kind of seems like too much initially but more i look i'm sure you get used to it pretty time. quick but i think the simplicity of the milwaukee or, yeah yeah the milwaukee I, I think it has better. the perfect mix of like 
simplicity yet it's look kind of out there mm -hmm. um and some teams go too much exactly well that's the nice thing is it looks simple but if you want to dive deeper into it there's more meaning in there than you originally might see like yeah. i know for me the m now it's kind of like i can see it every time i see it but before two three years ago i didn't even like realize that there was an m there mm -hmm. uh like lauren said i didn't notice that little basketball until a few weeks ago either so it's really cool that like once you do look into it, it's more than just a very simple buck logo. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then next team, uh the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I think they've honestly downgraded their logo a little bit from previous ones. Um, I think their colors are pretty nice, but overall, it's especially doing some research too, there is some cheesiness into it, like uh the research that I did. Um, they were saying that the V stands for victory, which, like, in no sense is kind of cool, but at the same time, like, you don't need to make that, like, an actual thing. Um, it's almost, I think, too simple and too try-hard at the same time. They almost try too hard to be simple and have it mean something, but it's almost not there. So I think this is honestly among, like, the Bulls region area, kind of like 5-6. Um, like I said, their previous logos have been, they've had previous better logos. Um, but I think I'm going to give it a six. Uh, to me, it, I mean, obviously I thought the Bulls logo was like near perfect, but, um, to me, this is like a three, it, like, like I said, with the Bucks, some teams go like too simple and this is it. Um, I mean, it's just like a big C. I mean, there are alternates, like they have some nicer alternates. Uh, yeah. With like the. Well, that the, is sword. the sword thing yeah. going through it, and that's that's better. But just all in all, I think it's a mediocre at best logo. Um, yeah, I'm so gonna, I'm gonna go three. I mean, the colors, the colors I are feel pretty like nice. The Cavaliers is such a cool name, and yeah. what they're doing with the logo is so disappointing. They could do so much more instead of just having the shield. Yeah. Like, and the shield doesn't even like look that cool either. Yeah, but I, uh, I mean, I I can't even argue that you gave it a three, honestly. No. Lauren? Yeah, I can't disagree. It's overly simple. Uh, yeah, you have literally nailed it. They really have nothing going for them for the most part. The colors are solid. Um, the C on alternate logo is like easy to use, so it's not bad for that. But like, you put that sword through the C, man. It would then be perfect. You'd have like a simple logo with a sword through the C, and it's a shield. Like it's a cavalier, a sword and a shield. So like, I feel like that would just like combine the old one and this one, and I feel like it makes such a like. It wouldn't even like look super sexy, but it'd just be a really nice logo. Like it would yeah, just do the yeah. job. Yeah, it, so we'll it doesn't even represent the city. It's not a thing I like. It doesn't even represent the city. So I'm, I'm gonna go. I don't know, four or five. I think it looks clean enough. I'm gonna go five. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I I will say I do like how they have their red color. That it's it's the wine color, which is because they are one of the biggest wine making cities. So I do like the element that they did at least incorporate that in the colors. But like you said, to kind of what really is the correlation between the team name and that but at the same time too the logo is almost like it's so bad almost right now for us but at the same time it's so close to being such a good logo yeah I mean, like like he said it almost if all you need to do really is add the element of the sword in the right way and it could be a seven eight logo yeah but yeah and then uh the next team is the boston celtics also iconic um they have made more changes than the uh, bulls they have added that circle that we're not the biggest fan of um but i think over i don't even know how i feel about it i'll be honest I, they're so, the og circle though they're the OG yeah, that's true they've had a circle before anybody else that's yeah. true i think it's i don't know the logo itself like say i'm a first time nba fan i saw the celtics logo i'd be like oh that's you'd just be confused almost that's, <laughs> okay that's a weird logo yeah um, that's fair um i mean but all in all I think it's okay. It's okay, you know. No nostalgia uh, points? And, and, like, I can't help but have nostalgia for it because it's like, yeah. like, when I was little, when I thought NBA, I thought Celtics. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, because, you know, but what was it? KG, Pierce, and Rayon were, like, the mm -hmm. thing at that time. And uh, so I think I'll, I'll give it still a five. Um, no, I'll give it a six. Yeah. 5.5. 5. 5. 5. Five, yeah. five and a half. All right. That's fair. Um, I, I do, obviously, like you said, if you don't know that much about Boston and you're like a first-time NBA guy looking at this, you're kind of like, okay, why are they the Celtics? So I do appreciate the fact that they are the Celtics because they have the largest Irish ethnic group in Boston. 
And it's kind of always been that way since Irish started coming over there. So I do see why they're at least that and why they have what they have. So that's kind of cool. But like you said, overall, too, I feel like there's still that almost sense of confusion slash weirdness just with what they picked. Yeah. Um, obviously, with the the so, uh, the mascot name, I think the logo fits very well. But I do feel like they could potentially try to rebrand a little bit. Uh, something, I don't know, more friend, not not even friendly. I don't think friendly is the right word, but you know what I'm saying? Like, well, like I said with the Bulls, like maybe in those alternate uniforms they could branch out a little bit. Yeah, because it's hard to change this. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. This or like totally change change the actual the logo, logo that's yeah. been around for since the Stone Ages, and so yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna agree. I, yeah, with all you guys said, this logo, unlike many other current modern logos, is lax. Um, it's not simple enough. Too many are just too simple. This one's not simple enough. Just kind of like a lot of detail. Kind of cool though. I love the way it represents the city. Big like points for that. They do the circle thing, but I like also that the guy like the ball is popping out, and he's kind of a chill dude. So I think that's solid. I'm I'm probably gonna give this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go seven. I think it's a solid enough logo, honestly. But I agree with everything you guys said. Fair. Um. Uh, we have the Atlanta Hawks. Um, they've they've had a bit of a journey throughout their logo making. Uh, they've been in multiple different cities, but for the most part, they've always they haven't always been the Hawks. They were the Black Hawks originally, but they've always had Hawks incorporated in their logo. Um, I think they are also in a similar place as the Cavs. They've had previous better logos. I think their current logo is better than the Cavs, though. Yeah. Um, they do have. The circle, which I think they make it work though with the way they incorporated the eagle's head. Um, so I, I think what or yeah, uh, yeah, it, the bird, <laughs> the bird, the bird's head. Um, I think I think it's a seven. Honestly, it's nothing too special, but I think it's good looking enough to where you don't need to necessarily worry too much about making changes. Yeah. If you can make nice changes, I'm all for it, but I wouldn't like necessarily stress about making a change. Yeah. Like the the old one with like where the the whole wings birds are like spread out. I think that one yeah is like a nine. But the new one's fine. I yeah, like you said, I think it's a seven ish. Um it's simple but it's it's a good simple. Mm -hmm. Um uh but I think you know, the hawk you have you could do a lot more with it, but all in all there's it's no, not horrible. It's not bad. Yeah. Obviously, it's yeah, I pretty much agree. It it looks modern, clean, and aggressive, which is nice. But it almost loses. It almost looks too clean mm -hmm. with the overall circle. Like they put that on like a like a basketball team, just like too much of a circle. Too much of like an emblem. You just put on something like some product or something. I don't know. And it's just, I mean, it's definitely a downgrade. I feel like from the previous one to have this like detailed, aggressive hawk, which is a little not modern enough. I wish they were just taking that same one, just slightly modernized it, and I think it would look super cool. And, and, just, and I mean, they like Marvin said, they've always been the Hawks, but I guess it represents flying, which the city has the world's biggest airport and it kind of has that history. But for Atlanta, for how much history they have, for how much even just now they're like huge into the movie industry, they're almost like they're like right behind Hollywood, I think. They've got that airport. Like, it's just a big, popular city. Like, just have Hawks is kind of lame, but that's fine. Or at least put something more on the logo. The logo itself doesn't represent anything more either. I just think there's definitely they're definitely lacking, um, just overall representing their city, and then even just with the logo design. So I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them, uh, I'm gonna give them a six. It still looks like modern though, clean. Yeah, that's true. Um, next we're gonna go to Charlotte. Um, they they have nice colors. They always have nice unis, which is always mm -hmm. great. And I think their logo isn't even that bad either. Um, I I do. Is it like that bad? What do you mean it isn't that bad? Let's hear this. I, I don't I don't know. Part I think part of it is just because like they brand everything else so nice that it and the colors are nice. But like I yeah, think I mean, it's hard to make a hornet look super cool. So. That's true too. For what they gave themselves, yeah. it's not bad. But no, I got I, I think you can nail it. I mean it's a hornet. I think it's for what it is, for having to do a hornet, I think it's awesome. I think yeah. you can't do a Hornet much better, personally. Like, yeah. I just, like, look at that little basketball and the little stinger tail right there. Like, that's a genius incorporation of using the Hornet and the basketball. It's got, like, facing down. 
It's uh um what's it called? When it's even? Center? Jang. What's it called? Like we have something in it's half. Symmetrical. symmetrical. That's a good that's a good word. It's symmetrical. <laughs> it looks like aggressive and symmetrical. I have like a like a like a diamond triangle shape. So I think they did an awesome job with what they have, but a horn isn't super cool. So I agree with you on that. Yeah. yeah. I like the font too. True. It's pretty good. Um I, I like I think this logo's I think it's fine. I mean, I think what kind of also brings it up is everything that else they do is exactly just super. The, the, like, everything else. The uniforms crazy. are some of the best in the league, in my opinion. I agree. Yeah, hundred percent. Even, Even the logo. Yeah, yeah. I think part of it is they gave themselves such good colors to use, and they use them well with what they have as their logo. Yeah. More reason why Michael Jordan's the goat. So, I'll give this one a ten. No, I'm joking. I'll give this one a a six. Wow, it's that slightly was... better than the Celtics. Yeah, I mean, wow. Okay. I, I don't know. Like you said, overall, it's not the best, but for what they deal with and everything else they do, it just like, I don't know. It's tough, honestly. Even the it's alternate tough. logo looks so clean. I'm looking somewhere with eights and nine. I just think the colors, the logo, it's pretty clean. I'm probably going to go eight, honestly. I think it's just, this is a definitely well above average logo, and I think it does the job to, uh, to better than it needs to. Or I, I don't know. It does the job very well. Yeah, that's true. They do, yeah. and it's easy to use that same logo for alternate logos. Like, just kind of use that same logo, change it up a little bit. Yeah, that's true. I I can't argue that honestly. I mean, they, like I said, I don't think I can make myself rank it lower because I feel like I'll just be underrating it almost at that point, especially for everything else they do. So, I mean, I think will you give it a six? I think somewhere in that six to eight range is honestly very good rating. Um, next, I don't know. If- what were you I don't say? know if I'm the only one that cares about like the history or like, the city. It doesn't really represent like Charlotte at all, very much at all. But I did see. I don't know how true this is, but apparently in the Civil War, they were referred to as like a hornet's nest because yeah, of how fierce they fought. So, so I think it, the nickname that, Queen City, which doesn't really mean. Yeah, I'm well, yeah. it does. And I mean the other thing too is. Um, which has a is a different part of the city's history is uh they say that the wings are spread too to represent as if it's in flight, which the home of the Wright brothers who were the first in flight. So they do definitely do some good incorporation in that sense too. I, I do agree with that. But I mean, like I said, overall it's it's a pretty well done logo, honestly, especially for what they gave themselves. Yeah. Um, but next we'll move down more south to Florida and Miami. Uh the heat. I personally think their first logo is better. I think it looked so much more mm-hmm. aggressive. The colors were nicer, but they still have a very uh almost nostalgic logo too. Uh very basic, but really cool. You have the basketball going through the rim while it's on fire. Uh very creative honestly to what they did. I I think it's a good logo. Like I said, I think the first one's better, but not to say that this one's bad at all. I think this one too goes around eight. Honestly, I think I think I'm gonna give it an eight. Uh still a very good logo. I mean a captures the team's identity, flaming basketball, going through the rim. Um I mean I think it just it, like you said, it's kind of nostalgic. It's also just I don't know, it's a clean logo. I, I think I'll go more up to a nine. Um I think it's I think in terms of like the old logo versus this logo, I think it's about even for me. Um, and they've done a lot of, I mean, they've, I think lately I have disliked their jerseys, but yeah. they've done a lot of cool stuff with the, they have, that's true, the logo and stuff. Yeah. They're, they're not afraid up, to up venture there. up. True. They're up there somewhere with the Charlotte Hornets as far as like best logo and colors and jerseys. Like they're just really not well marketed. Uh, definitely, I think this one's got at least an A for me, too. I agree with Marvin. The other one was, like, slightly better. But this one is just the perfect design of, like, cool and fancy while just staying simplistic for a logo. Just be easy, recognizable. Put it on on there, but still be its own thing. It's just, like, a circle or something like that. still its own thing. Just looks really good. Miami is another huge city. It maybe could represent it more, but then maybe it would be too complicated. They represent the heat in the name. I think it's well done. I'm probably going to have to give this in. I'm going to give it. 
It just looks good. I think I got to give it a nine. Like, it just looks good. Fair. Um, next, we'll go up to the Big Apple, the Knicks. Um, they – the logo itself, I think, could definitely be upgraded. Um, they have some cool history to why some of the things are the way they are. Um, like the colors, for example, are the same colors of the New York flag. So I do appreciate that. Um, they, on their jerseys too, which I didn't even know, it's kind of just a fun fact. Uh, obviously they're playing Madison Square Garden and on their jerseys they're, they have the MSG too. MSG has always had a stake in the Knicks, which I thought was pretty interesting, especially for how old the team is. Um, but overall the logo, I'm, it's definitely lower tier for me. Uh, almost too simplistic. There's not really any element, like any special element, especially considering the fact that you're in New York freaking city. Like there's so much you could do with a logo instead of just having For real. basketball. Yeah, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, the skyline, not to mention the Freedom history. Tower, just, exactly. Well, just it's I'm New not York. Not you could put anything in there. All they have is a basketball. That's <laughs> it. I almost said that. Well, <laughs> Um, definitely they shouldn't include the Brooklyn Bridge. That would be weird. <laughs> That's already yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, no, I think it's kind of like the Celtics. I think it's worse than the Celtics, but it's like you know, it's nostalgic. It's cool. It's or it's like you know, it's it's related to like the history of the NBA. So yeah. I think a lot of people like it. I think that's um, part of the reason why it hasn't been changed very much either, just the history of the NBA. Yeah. But still, you're in New York City. Yeah. I mean, I I mean. Uh, like we were saying with the Cavs, I think there's a lot of potential to do cooler things. Mm -hmm. Like the skyline would be cool. I, they did, they did like one jersey or, or like one alternate jersey with the skyline or something. Really? Well, I don't. They have a court where they have. Oh, no, that's right? what it was. A court with the skyline. I, I think I really like their jerseys in general. But um, yeah, I think I'd give this a five. I think it's an average look. I, I, I agree with uh, Deacon, like, the Skyline Dallas Mavericks, they have those ones from, like, I don't know, seven years ago. The jerseys look so good. And yeah. it's not it's not even New York. Imagine the New York. And it'd be so representative. The New York mm -hmm. Skyline across it. You could even put the bridge with Statue of Liberty in the back. I mean, like, you have all these vendors that make uh, souvenirs have, like, better, like, designs than the Knicks for the logo. The, the jerseys look nuts. 100 agree. I love the jerseys. But the logo... Is just it's just really underwhelming and disappointing, and it's not even like nostalgic. This like look type of logo design first came into place in the nineties, like after like right during like George's era. It's not even that nostalgic at this point. And they, how many chips have they won? How many finals appearances have they made in the time? It's not like they're holding on to much here. It's true. I think they made one <laughs> in what seventy five years. That's what I'm what? saying. It's not. It's not the Celtics or the Lakers or the Bulls where you kind of have to hold on to it because you've done a lot of winning with it. That's not the case. Yeah, that's true. Like, just redesign, make a super cool one. You can make it a super cool one. Really not much to complain about if they just make it a completely revamped, awesome Knicks logo. I probably have to go – I'm going to go four. I think it's still mm – -hmm. they have this weird, like, Star Wars script kind of thing, movement kind of coming down, which helps a little bit, I feel like. It's kind of like a moving element. I don't know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's like popping. Yeah, I know what you're exactly. saying. Exactly. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. It's really – Honestly, probably one of my least favorite logos in the NBA. It's especially considering the location, there's just so much potential. And what they have right now is like nothing on it. Um, so yeah, I agree. Um, next we're gonna go to the Orlando Magic. Um they have a pretty cool Orlando logo Magic. too. Um <laughs> the interesting thing about why the the, Ma the magic actually, which I think is kind of a funny little story or whatever, is the GM at the time. His seven-year-old daughter called the city magical because obviously you have uh, yeah. Disney and I think of Universal and stuff too, right? Yeah. So that is kind of where the name comes from. So it is kind of cool. I think it's funny how his seven-year-old daughter said that and he's like, that's a good name for the team. It is a good name. It is. I agree. It is actually a good name though, but kind of funny too, just especially seven-year-old girl, right? Made the, the team of an M or the mascot of an NBA team. Um and I feel like with them, too, they have more potential with their logo. But I think what they have right now is honestly very solid as well. Um, They have the basketball, and you have little stars behind it. Uh, looks like a shooting star. 
I think I like the previous one a little bit more too, though, with the magic uh, above it with the two uh, the stars. Font, yeah. yeah. Um, I do think they downgraded too. I'm not a big fan of their font either. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I feel like I don't like the asymmetry of it. I feel like a lot of times when I look at their logo, it just like almost catches me off guard, and I'm like, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Like how it has the heavy ball on the one side and it's kind of a small tail on the other side. Yeah, I, for that part, I, I think it's like supposed to be a moving element, which I think it is, is yeah, is normally nice. I agree, but I think, yeah, it, it's not, it's not my favorite. I think five or six, honestly. Um, but yeah, I don't know what you guys think. Wow, wow. I mean, I'm kind of, I, I'm with you on the font. I don't love the font. Yeah, I think the logo is like, it's. I it like in terms of like the shooting star, I think it's good. Um, I don't mind the asymmetry. the The work, the font is a little disappointing. I feel like you could do more. Obviously, like the '90s font was it was yeah. sick, and with a name like the Magic, kind of got to lean into the the kiddish vibe or like the the fun vibe. Yeah, and, I mean the team itself is really fun. Yeah, um, I mean it's not always, but right now it's fun. And but, credit for to their social media team too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, even though they might have gotten fired, which is worrisome. But all in all, I would say it's I would say it's a seven. Point I respect six, that. Six point five. The I mean, logo itself isn't anything special, but um it's not bad. Sure. Yeah. I mean, for one, like you guys said, I think it's it might Orlando might have like up there with Miami, like, the best logo history. Like, all three of their logos are pretty banger. Their last one was just is actually nostalgic and fire. I'm surprised they got rid of it after just 10 years of use. Arguably one of the NBA favorites, too. But yeah. I also do think in each evolution, including this one, they actually did an awesome job of making it a new logo and making it distinct from the previous ones while also including a lot, if not most, of the elements. And I think this is the same one. Like, there's just uh, – a version of the last one, a little more modernized. I do wish they put like a star right over that eye. It would end up right next to the O mm -hmm. of Orlando. I think that would just add a little bit, just a nice little touch. But it looks like a modern uh, logo, still unique and distinct. So I think it's honestly really solid. I think seven or eight. I'll probably go. Um, I'll probably go seven. It is a little too too simplistic. The last one was pretty pretty fire. Uh -huh. yeah. but I, good colors. Uh, it fits well, like the little stars with the basketball. Like it, it's, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I agree. Next logo we're gonna go to, in my opinion, is probably the worst logo in the NBA. Um, the Brooklyn Nets. They first off, they only have two colors, black and white. Um, they, I don't. There's just nothing. It just feels like nothing. It is nothing. And the worst part about it is the word Brooklyn. It's like out. Yeah, it's like not it, even. It's at the bottom, so it kind of reads Nets it. Brooklyn. It just it. I don't. Like it's it. it's really not great in my opinion at all. Um, and it like I mean we I mentioned the Brooklyn Bridge for the Knicks, which doesn't make sense, but uh, for the Nets it kind of does. I mean, like this kind of copying the Warriors in sense, but. You but, could you could change it up a little bit. You could, yeah. Um, I mean, even then, like you know, use a net maybe. Like I yeah, know. like I mean, I, a net. Could it's look just a very shield. Cool if you yeah, use it right. It's a shield. Yeah. yeah, and the thing I don't really like about it either is apparently part of the reason why they chose the name Nets is because it rhymes with Mets and Jets, who are both also in the New York area. But like, that's not why you should choose a team name to be what it is. Um, and yeah, so I mean, the name I think itself isn't even the best. And then they didn't even use anything like the, like you said, a net. I think if you use a net, right, it could actually look really cool. Like if you use a kind of like silhouette or something. Um, but yeah, what they have right now, in my opinion, is just garbage. Yeah, just like their team. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the, the positive is you can't really ruin something that doesn't look good or bad. You can't ruin something that doesn't. So that's, that's a good thing. You can't go too negative because it doesn't look like anything. Um, and it looks simplistic. That's about everything they have going for them. And it's mm -hmm. even more disappointing if this was, um, like, just some small market team that doesn't have too much. Maybe, you know, it's Charlotte or something like that, right? It's Brooklyn. Like, Brooklyn it has so much going on. Like, it's so crazy. It's so non-simplistic. It makes no sense. And, like, some of the jerseys have been nice. Like, they have that clean look, but yeah. they use, like, subway elements, which makes a lot of sense. Like, subway elements or even use that bridge. 
it's Brooklyn, guys. Like, why? Why is it just nothing? Why yeah. is it nothing? <laughs> exactly. you know, even that one logo with the ball that's like circular, that's actually one of the best circular ones. And then throwing like some subway elements in there or something like that, put a Brooklyn Bridge above it. You got a nice, simple, good looking logo that represents Brooklyn. But like, this is, it's nothing. Yeah. It's, it's definitely needs to be edited as soon as possible. Yeah. And, and the good thing is, it doesn't look ugly. It's just, Underwhelming. Yeah. nothing. It's, it's underwhelming. It's just, exactly. It's very underwhelming. So, what would you rate it? What did you guys give it? Honestly, I think I have to go too. Wow. It's not good. <laughs> it's really not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three. It's not the worst in the league. So I think I'm leaning somewhere three or four. I probably go three. It's just, it's just nothing there. It doesn't look horrible, luckily. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, next. Honestly, I like the team a lot. Their logo could definitely use some upgrading. Uh, the Indiana Pacers. Mm. Um, it's it's also a much more simplistic one. Um, you have the P with the ball in the middle, and then a little like three streaks behind it. I don't I don't know what do you guys think about this logo. I I it's like question. You like it? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's wrong. I mean, let, let's hear this. I have a question for you after, but I want to hear why you like it. Okay. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's it's a good, simple, it kind of fits the, you know, it's a, a P, obviously. <laughs> oh. P for Pacers. <laughs> and, I was like, wait, it's a P. <laughs> I had and, no um, idea. I mean, <laughs> the, ball, the ball looks like it's going fast, you know, fit yeah. the race car thing. Um, so, yeah, I think it's solid. Yeah, but like you said, the race car thing, you could use a race car. Yeah. Or some, I think so. I think you could make I it. I personally, like, here's really- kind of my question. I personally think even the very logo that they have, they didn't even do a good job of actually using that. Because I don't know if you guys have it in front of you right now, but if you're looking at it, I feel like it would be a really good move. You take the uh, hold on. You take what the white is and you make that yellow, like you kind know, of the main color, like right next to the P. So so not, so not white and yellow next to each other. It looks like someone pissed their white undies. Then you make the yellow blue, and you make the blue letters yellow. I feel like that, just just that just just the color yeah. change. You would make it look that much better. I agree. Wait wait. Make the white yellow. Yeah, make the white yellow, the yellow part blue, and the letters yellow. So you have a like, nice, sick, like, like bright letters popping out from a darker blue. And then right next to that blue logo, you have that immediately kind of come again into that with the, uh, the yellow and make that pop out too. It looks yeah, so much cleaner, I swear. But to Deacon's point, I mean, and also to, against the Pacers, but also to them. And for one, they used the Pacer, which is like representing the city. So that's great. And the yellow is like cornfields too. Like, good job, Indiana. But at the same time, like, they didn't really make it like really cool. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely have more potential too, I think. Um, also, not to say that everything's nostalgic, but this one is kind of nostalgic. I, I, uh, I mean, I know what you're saying. I do know what you're saying, but it's just, it's just like I don't think it's nostalgic enough to where you can be like, we can't really touch it that much. Yeah. Maybe it's True. nostalgic for me because like Paul George was like, it's one of my favorite players. Like I said, I understand exactly where you're coming from, but I feel like they weren't successful enough or big enough. If they won a championship or two. <laughs> I mean, to your point, though, I feel like they can still use the P. I have nothing against the P itself. It's just, like, they've never really done, like, a whole lot with it. Like, if you could put a P and then just make it say Acers next to it and then maybe put, like, a race car underneath it or something like that, like, underneath the word Pacers, like, underline it. I don't know. Something like that. Just just kind of just make it a little more cool. I, I think, too, I mean, obviously you have the three little stripes behind the ball, but I think if you try to add more of a, like, speed element to it to four stripes for exactly <laughs> no but I, I think they could do more with like the speed aspect at least uh obviously right race cars indy 500 i think they should add more of that in there to make it really look like it's moving more 
<laughs> True. Like like the Lakers logo has, has like the lines coming off of it. If they did that with a P, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Or Not even, much, but I think it helps the overall like vibe of it. Yeah, even to the next team, which is the Pistons, their older logo with the horse, they have a very flowy uh feel to that one. Um, but their current logo is shit. I'm I'm sorry. I said the Nets one was the worst. The Pistons are worse. I well, before we get to that, what are, what are you guys ranking the Pistons one or rating oh. it? I'm gonna give it a six. Ah, wow. Okay. I feel like I'm rating every logo a six. I know. I think I'm giving everything like this. Out. I'm gonna give us. I'm gonna give them a five. I think they're decent enough. Yeah. But they obviously have much room for improvement. I'm gonna give yeah. them a six. That puts them with the Bulls and the Hawks and better than the Cavs for me. Yeah. But back to the Pistons. Their logo, what is it? What are, it's what, it's the exact same way they play. They just decided they wanted to be bad at everything. It's, it's that simple. True. True. I there. Yeah, I think I there. I think their logo is worse than the Nets. I gave the Nets a two, and I think it's worse too in the sense of that I can give them a one. Their logo is just so bad. It's actually ugly. Like it's actually it's so actually ugly. ugly. Exactly. It's actually ugly, and then. To make it even worse, you look at the logo beforehand, and you're like, "What happened, guys? What What are we doing here?" I can't quite go one. I, actually, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and so, like you said, the potential of the logo with like they had the horse, they had the tailpipes. Oh, that's that's what it's called, right? The tailpipe. Anyway, the exhaust. Exhaust yeah. pipe. Yeah. Maybe they won a chip with that one too. Not to mention yeah, they yeah. won like a chip or even I think two or three. Uh, yeah, well, the, that's the thing I don't understand, right? We all we all love it, and I've heard a lot of other people that say they love it. The reason why they changed it is because apparently it was very criticized and unpopular by fans and journalists, which I don't understand how. But well, here we are one now. One. I think this is a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, and even the font is like the most basic yeah, font you can get for not, like a professional. I mean, person. I guess this one, at least there's something, but still, like what? What? What is it? The D's kind of like extended on the top. Even like the basketball, right? It has a circular element, but it has like the basketball inside the blue lines, and it doesn't even look like a good basketball. It it's just so bad. Looks more like a baseball. Just like the NBA's first two logos, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a whole different story. Just just a fun fact for for terms of logos, the pre like the cool one. With a horse, there's two versions of that, and those combined only were was around for nine years. That's mm-hmm. nothing. Most teams change each logo every 15 years, and they had two versions of this. That's crazy. And they even won a chip in one of them, too. Like, what are you guys doing in Detroit? Dude, Detroit's – like, literally, for one, it doesn't re- – like, the piss and sure, it represents the city, but the logo itself says nothing about the city. Mm-hmm. It's just a red and – Blue, exactly. I don't have a barely problem. Recognized, barely recognizable basketball. Yeah, that says Detroit business. Like they said, super lame. Yeah, I and I don't have a problem. With, like you were saying, I don't have a problem with the mascot name. Just the logo is bad. I think the mascot name is fine, but the logo is bad. So yeah. bad. So bad. It's it's incredible. So DK, like you give it a two. I give it a one. He's giving it a one and a half. What are you giving it? This is just so tough, man. You're putting me in a tough spot here. <laughs> it's so bad. I, I don't know if I want to go one. I feel like it's not that bad. You still have these, like, solid colors, like, to be positive here. I don't know. But, like, I mean, I know what you're saying with that, but it's just so I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give it a two. That's very nice. <laughs> Generous. Next, we're going to go to the only team in Canada, the Toronto Raptors. Um, I think their, their logo is solid. Um, I like potential. The way they... It has so much potential. It, does. it definitely so does. much. I think their I think it's a secondary logo, which is their primary logo without the extra circle, which is the basketball and the claw. I think that looks sick. Yeah. Again, I think the circle around it does kind of mess it up. I'm gonna try not to incorporate that too much in my ranking because I think the idea of the actual like logo okay is very good. And like you said, the potential too. I like what they have, but. I mean, I like the whole dinosaur they had beforehand, too. I, I can see why they moved away from that. But I still feel like they haven't reached that full potential either. I, I mean, for like one, to your movie. point. Go ahead. To your point, the dinosaur before I agree, it looked, a lot of people love it. I think it's pretty good. I don't like it as much as a lot of other people did. 
I get the nostalgia, and I think it looks good. But I just to mo- they could have just modernized that a little bit, or look at that logo the way it has Toronto Raptors written. Mm-hmm. Do that and then just put that current ball underneath it in that half circle. And I think that would look really modern and it would look really cool and it wouldn't ruin that logo with a full circle, which we don't like circles. We've come to a conclusion today. I think that would look I think that would look really modern and cool if they just took the Toronto Raptors with the ball. Yeah, I agree. They're but I, I do like what they did with their logo, how they made those three stripes of the basketball into like these claws that are digging into it. It is still a nice logo. It is a very simplistic logo, and we have hated on some of them, but I think this is a very nice, simplistic logo. Like I said, they perfectly did it with what they were doing. Um, honestly, I think, I think I'm gonna give it seven and a half. Wow. I just think too. Another thing I think that ruins the circle is the font of Toronto Raptors. It's yeah, very I mean, basic. Yeah, very. Weird. They could have made it like scratch, like. Giraffe, or even like the former font, even if you don't take the overall thing, just the font itself has nothing to it. Nothing yeah. to support the cool ball in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, just like the Deacon's point with the Pistons font, they they really don't have anything on their font either. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I was ranking more, like I said, the just the ball element. But if I go the whole element, you could probably bring it down to like a six just because the letters are lame. The, there's nothing – it's literally just a circle that has black and red around it, which, okay, I guess. And you have to have your name, I believe, in the actual primary logo. So they have to do something, but they didn't do it that great. Uh, I mean, kind of like what uh, y'all were saying. If it didn't have the stupid Toronto Raptors uh, circle thing around it, it was just the ball with the scratches. Mm-hmm. I think I lean towards like an eight, honestly. I really like it. Um, especially if, like what Lauren said, you put the old Raptors above it. And yeah. Stuff like that. But um in general, I think it brings it down to like a six. Yeah, exactly. That's like I said, I mean, my when I was just ranking more of the ball, it was like seven and a half. But then when you bring the other stuff around, it's like a six. Yeah. Really so wasn't sad they brought it down. But I we're going six across the board. I got the same thing. Yeah. Um where's the next? Oh, yes. The last East team. Wizards. The Washington Wizards. Not a, not a great logo. I don't think it's that bad. Um, You obviously have the Washington Monument in the center of it. I almost think the circle... I, I kind of like the circle around it, but I almost feel like they did too much with it. Um, I, I have- feel like... To your point, I feel like they did everything like almost right, and then they just made it too simple yet too complicated but making mm-hmm. a circle element around the ball like you should have just gone out and be a little more like creative and let those cool designs and colors go into like a more complex yet simplistic logo instead of just a wall yeah i agree um and another interesting thing too is so they have obviously the one star on the ball which is supposed to theoretically represent like dc and then since dc is obviously like right in the border of virginia and maryland those other two stars, according to them, represent those two states, which I guess is kind of cool. I don't really see that much of a need for it, but at least there's somewhat of a meaning behind those stars being there. Yeah. Um, and like, I mean, honestly, I don't hate the logo. I do think without the circle around it, it would the logo almost looks too boring, just because I don't even know. I don't. It's just a very interesting logo, honestly. Yeah, I know they almost played it too safe. I feel like, too what? Too safe. I was making a circle, yeah. making a basketball. They put the, the 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 what's it called? The Washington Monument. Super yeah. cool. That they put down the ball. That's an awesome idea. But I was like, we'll make a circle. We'll use our colors. They're super cool looking color. They're great colors. We're the yeah. Wizards. We'll put some stars on it. Which, which to that point, they almost don't use enough like. Like hints towards their like mascot or their name wizards. They only put like those three stars, which apparently, according to them, actually refer to states. So I, according to that, it actually means yeah. nothing in regards to wizards. Yeah, and like you said, their previous logo, right, where it had like the dude. I don't, I, I don't think it was great at all, but I do like the creativity. You obviously have the W as the the body, which also then has a beard, and they they at least try to kind of incorporate the name into it. Um, there's definitely different things in each logo that are nice and represent different things. Um, but I want to hear Deacon's take because I know he 
This is one of his least favorite logos. Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I mean, I just really don't like it when teams like, like the Wizards or the Pistons, like there is nothing wizardy about your logo. Yeah. Just but your... like like we said, right? At least I mean, there's a monument, which is kind of like the only thing that represents Washington in there, or Wizards, right? But so not I'm... but not the Wizards. No, it doesn't represent Wizards. It represents Washington. But I mean, but like obviously... Abe Lincoln as a wizard or something. You know, and like yo, this... that like the dude. Wizard... Oh, oh, dude, the wizard like sitting in the Abe Lincoln pose. I think the only problem is I don't know. I mean, I guess doing the pose you could probably do, but I don't know if they'd be able to use an Abe Lincoln. No, yeah, <laughs> but I like the idea. The creativity is there. Your creativity is something like that. I mean, Actually, I, I do I, like it. Deacon's on one and a half. It's not worse than the Pistons. No, it's definitely better than the Pistons. It's just so freaking strange. I, I mean, I don't know how you can tie it with the Pistons. Though. The Pistons is so much worse. Actually, you're right. I'm gonna give it a two. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a two. You hate it it's that better. much? What about, it has good colors. It's, there's it's red, white, and blue. I, a, hey, yeah, but they're the capital. Red, white, and blue, America. Come on, man. Great. You're great. There's no... To be fair, half the NBA teams have red, white, and blue. Yeah. I'm sick of the patriotic stuff, you know? Put a freaking <laughs> wizard in a chair. I, don't I like the idea. I definitely like. The Honestly, game. I love dude Deacons. I've never been really thought about it. Like the wizard in the Lincoln chair, that would be hype. That or have you guys seen the Sixers alternate logo? It's like Benjamin Franklin dribbling a basketball. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a nice. Yeah, I like the good. Dude, dude, that the Sixers. And the ball is like this one. It has the monument inside the ball too. Like it, they could, they have so many. Like it's DC. It's an awesome city. One of my favorite cities. And like they don't use the wither, nor do they really use a lot of the city. They do use a little bit. They use a little bit. They use the patriot patriotism and the monument. But like Deacon is so right, man. Deacon should design this logo. Yeah. And back to the I'm still giving them a five. I'm sorry. I'm giving obviously them a five. we rated their logo pretty mid, a little above mid. But their secondary logos, especially if you include all of them, probably beat everybody. Like pretty easy, at least from the top of my head. Like they have, like we said, almost all of their secondary logos are super nice, very well thought out, and make sense with the city. Um, like I said, it's just off the top of my head, but I I know for a fact which that they're one. Huh? Which ones? Well, like you said, the Benjamin Franklin one. Um, we talked about the snake one, which I mean, I guess I don't really know. How oh, you're talking it. about the Sixers? I thought I'm on the Wizards yeah. still. No, yeah, that's why I said back to the Sixers. Yeah, hundred percent. They have like the best secondary logos. Um, but my my ranking for the Wizards, um, I think five. Yeah, it's there's definitely. A lot of, or not a lot, but enough good things about it, and it looks good enough. Especially, like I said, honestly, I think it looks worse without the Washington Wizards circle around it. Um, so in this case, that actually helps their their ranking. I think it makes it look a lot better. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it's better than a five. I don't think it's necessarily worse. I think it's like just about mid. There's so much potential, like we said, which I think takes away a little bit too, obviously. But they they have a lot of nice elements in that too. Um, and so unless you guys have any other thoughts about any Eastern Conference logos or anything, so that'll conclude our Eastern Conference logo rankings. Uh, drop some comments and subscribe and like the video. Till next time.